So today I'm going to explain AV nodal reentrant tachycardia. But first I have to explain what SVT is because AV nodal reentrant tachycardia is a form of SVT. It's actually said to be the most common type of SVT. Um, and the criteria for SVT. Um, SVT is an arrhythmia that originates above the ventricles. So that could be um, an ectopic or a pacemaker um, within the AV junction or the atria. Um, SVT has a narrow QRS complex on the SCG, uh, SCG, F ECG which is less than 0 0.12 seconds. It has a rhythm of more than 150 beats. And it has either absent, abnormal or retrograde P waves. The reason why the QRS is narrow is because this is inferring the AV conduction, conduction system is being utilised and this means that the Purkinje fibres are being activated. So with um, AV nodal reentrant tachycardia, I'm going to depict an AV node. So this is an AV node with two tracks coming from above it, and this bottom track is going down the bundle of hiss and down the bundle branches. So within an AV node, 10% of individuals have one fast track and one slow track. So when an electrical signal comes from above, so from the atria or the SA node, um, the electrical signal will naturally come down the far side because that is due to the property of cardiac tissue. So it'll come down the far side, come through the node and straight down to the ventricles. Um, and I'm going to depict the slow track with hurdles to show that it's still working but it's got hurdles because it's an obstacle. obstacle. So um, AVNRT is activated when, um, for example, a PVC will occur in the ventricle, so a premature ventricular contraction will occur. Um, an electrical, electrical signal will come up this way. And just say in the very odd instance that an atrial contraction had just occurred down the fast track. Um, this side of the AV node will said to have been in absolute refractory, refractory period. So therefore, this electrical conduction cannot go to the right side because that's the law of cardiac tissue. So therefore, it has to go to the left side. The problem is, when it reaches the top of the AV node, it has two options. It can either go up the slow track and activate the atria to contract, which will create a retrograde P wave or circle within the AV node junction because the relative refractive period may have just opened up on this side of the AV node. So say that that happened, it would be exactly as Brett says, a dog chasing its tail within the AV node, activating both the ventricles and on the odd chance the atria with a retrograde P wave, which will be in the wrong position. Um, it's difficult to understand how this circle occurs or this electrical circuit because you need to understand the properties of the cardiac tissue. The ones that um, relate mostly to this would be automaticity. Automaticity, excitability. and conductivity. So it's just extremely irritable and the, the tissue will just conduct any electrical signal that it can 
possibly can within the relative refractory period.